Hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to be reading an Aboriginal book or a book that tells us about the Aboriginal culture. It's called Willem, which means home. The book was written by Auntie Joy Murphy and Andrew Kelly and it was illustrated by Lisa Kennedy. Here is Willem, a Birarool story. And these are dot paintings. Willem. It says, me no leave it, Yara, my country. There's no mountains for me on the Murray. By William Barrack. As Nura rises, turning clouds over the distant city red, Bunjil soars over mountain ash, flying higher and higher as the wind warms. Below, Birarung begins its long winding path down to Pailem Warin. Deep in the Yaren, Wallet comes home to sleep in a bark-lined nest inside a hollow tree. Panmin falls on Durang, flows down Wirrup, and soaks into Yermanim Beak. As more rain falls, Barn begins to flow over Yermanim Beak and gathers into Yalup. Nearby, Boroin perches on Combadick anxiously calling to her mate in his bright blue breeding colours. He flits from frond to frond, chasing insects. Soon, Yaluk joins with Yaluk and becomes Birarung. Yangai fly down the valley with great slow flapping wing beats, searching the pines planted where Birarung has been dammed. Pine combs are rich with seeds. Where Birurung begins to run through farmland, Marum, resting on the soft forepaws, neatly clip Buath. From her pouch, Marum looks out. Hidden behind tangled roots in the bank of Birurung, Dula Wurung lies in her burrow, curled around her newly hatched babies. Wa flies around Birurung with his brothers, making his slow high call, drawing out the last note so everyone can hear. From her long burrow in the bank of Birarung, Warren comes out to eat. In her pouch is her young one. Her pouch opens backwards so she doesn't flick in dirt when she digs. Tajjeri sleeps, snuggled in a nesting box, fixed to Garang. He dreams of gliding from tree to tree and of sweet nectar and tasty insects. Near the city, Bathmo shares a nest with eight little ducklings. In evening light, Bogon scurries along the edge of Birarung, looking for dinner, maybe a tasty fish or two. Drips fall from his waterproof fur. He flicks his thick white tipped tail. As Nua sets, Wajil floats on the surface, ready to dive. She watches carefully for the silvery flicker of a school of anchovies she can surprise with a scoop of her huge bill. Sharp-eyed Bunjil soars overhead, watching everything spread out beneath him. Fresh water, which began its journey as Palmen, falling on Durang, mixes with Palemurin. Birarung is Willem to many. Yeah, that's the end of the book. What I like about this book is it has a glossary at the end, which shows you all the native Australian words used in all the pages, and it also shows you what they mean. It was quite fun learning all those words. It was quite hard saying them as well. Well, that's the end of the book. I hope you liked that one as much as I did. Next week, we're going to be reading quite a funny book, actually. It's called Good Question, and the story is actually backwards. I'll see you next time. Bye, boys and girls.